There's mama and the baby. They found some apples. Boy, are they enjoying them. This is the only one fawn she had this year. Sometimes she has two, but she likes bedding down next door in the woods. But we always throw the apples out and they th thoroughly enjoy it. Let's scan over a little bit. There we go. Now you can see them in there coming just a little bit more. Well, he was a fawn this spring and had the spots and he's grown this much now. It's fall. So she raised him good. And now he's getting to eat all these delicious apples. Mom keeps a close eye on him. But you can tell by their coats, they're sure looking healthy. They're good looking animals. And this is a pair of Mama and the baby called Mamby and Bambi. So, oh, he's going to go over here now and see what he can find. Let's see, I'll come up here a little bit. He'll come up here by Mama again. And there he is. Well, there's several apples. We got different sizes, big ones, small ones. So, we throw them all up there and they're having a good feast. But this is a doe and her fawn. He was the baby this spring, and like I said before, we've named them Mamby and Bambi, so we'll keep a close eye out. We're looking for Spike. He just lost the velvet off his uh, horns, and he should be showing. Oh, they heard something, see? They're very alert. All right, they're going to walk off here and go to the other spot. We'll call that good, then. Well, there's Spike chewing his cud now. He's laid down in his favorite spot. You can see he's got rid of the velvet on his horns. And he's chewing his cud, eating the apples, and his friend is munching away on the other few apples that are left. But Spike's got his nice coat now. He's all slick. He's got his good color, and he's got the velvet off his horns. You can see him sticking up there, and he's just uh, happy as a lark, laying here eating his uh, cud and watching his friend enjoy the apples. Well, they had plenty of apples out there for him. They've been really coming on a regular basis. They go through the apples. Well, there's Spike. He's happy to have a friend along this time. And the friend looks almost... Uh, like it could be a doe, a big doe, but it's very nervous, so I don't think that deer has been here before. But anyway, we're happy to see Spike. He's got uh, his new winter coat, got the velvet off his horns, and he's laid down his regular spot chewing his cud. Oh, Spike's getting up. There he is stretching a little bit. He might be looking for the bucks. We have a three-point buck and a two-point that comes in. And that might be who he's looking for. Oh, he's shaking off a little bit, showing off them new spiked horns. Looking at his friend down here. She looks like a big doe. He's showing off a little bit here. Going to clean up. Going down to see his friend here. There you go. He's walking down. He's going to talk to her about the other. Oh, yeah, a little fight. I oh, see that, that little hit and the way they went. Well, I guess uh, that might have <laughs> been a big doe. She might have been his boss. There's one of our bucks chewing on the apple now. He's moved over to this spot here and licking his lips and enjoying it very much. This is the one we call Junior. He has a forked rack and his other friend that runs with him is a four-point buck. And we're waiting for him to show up. But he's enjoying the apples. See him licking his lips and checking out a big apple he's got there. And they're black-tailed deer. It's part of our herd. And we're all excited about him showing up here. Yeah, all 
Alrighty, he looks like he's really enjoying it. Starting to get a little sprinkle now. He's checking around here just looking for more apples and there's one right by him there. Oh yeah. Let's pan over a little bit. There, he's kind of looking right at me now, showing off that new rack, got all the velvet off. Chewing on his apples there. Deer have four stomachs. They can, uh, almost like a cow, which has eight. They can regurgitate the food and rechew it later. And it's called a ruminant. And that's what he's doing. He's putting it into his first stomach now. And then he'll go lay down and chew his cud. Regurgitate it and put it into his stomach. They have four stomachs. Oh, yeah, he's liking this apple. We got a big juicy one this time. He's listening to the cars go by. All right. I will look for the other.